in the beginning, I did not, I wasn't happy with the move. I was, mm -hmm. I was, you know, I was young and I had my friends there and my life there. Hello, everyone. Um, I, I guess everyone knows how Dubai is home to many expats. And with me today is one expat. He's from Saudi originally. Um, his name is Aziz Al Harbi, and he's here to tell us why Dubai is home to him. I moved here in 2003. I was okay. about 14 years old. Okay. And um, in the beginning, I did not. I wasn't happy with the move. I was. Mm -hmm. I was. You know, I was young, and I had my friends there and my life there. Mm -hmm. So when my parents told me that we're moving to Dubai, I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it here. And uh, now, you know, 16 years later it's it's my home really since 2003 until now I consider Dubai really my home how did it all start for you like wh what's your educational background let's start with that so when I moved to Dubai I attended <laughs> the American School of Dubai mm -hmm. and I did my high school there mm -hmm. and being in the American school and being you know half American my mother from Seattle Washington I was always intrigued and I knew that I wanted to study in the United States. So I'm from the West Coast, but I wanted to get away from that side and go to the East Coast. So I attended Boston University. So I went to the School of Management there. At the time it was called School of Management. Now they've changed it to Qualcomm School of Management. And I studied finance. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not in finance now, but mm -hmm. I studied it and it's a great background to have. I'm happy that I did study finance. Mm -hmm. After a couple years, I decided that this isn't really what I want to study. It mm -hmm. was too late, so I continued that major, mm -hmm. but I added an operation management major. Mm -hmm. I also added a, a minor in economics, so I have a, a nice a trio of okay. uh, topics of, that I studied. So when I studied operation management, I fell in love with with that that field mm -hmm. and I knew that's where I wanted to be. Okay. I came back to Dubai and um, I worked in uh, consulting for a couple of years okay. for a hotel management company mm -hmm. and then I had a I had a meeting with um, our current uh, CEO and chairman Mr. Mm -hmm. Anis Al Jallaf mm -hmm. and he we sat down and he told me um, his idea of what he wants to create in robo stores mm -hmm. and he showed me I remember he showed me uh, videos of these robots moving around and and uh, you know there's nothing like it here in the region yeah. uh, so it's something new and I can see his vision of what he wants to create yeah. I can also I also saw at the time the real move towards e-commerce and online and uh, mm -hmm. and the e-commerce world so I thought you know and Amazon of course is is was booming from then mm -hmm. till now and I thought this is a really cool and unique opportunity and I was hooked ever since that day. So uh, four years later we have RoboStores uh, fulfilling for the e-commerce uh, industry in the MENA region. Where do you want to go next? I want to continue life and my career in uh, Dubai. Yeah. So RoboStores now has one center fulfilling for mm. multiple companies across the world mm -hmm. in the region and worldwide. We do deliver worldwide. Our idea is to take this concept, to take this mm. uh, company and replicate it in different uh, regions, different markets, different mm -hmm. countries, mm -hmm. whether it's Egypt or Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. or even the free zone here, have multiple in the UAE, mm -hmm. and just expand what we're doing to really yeah. um, help the um, the e-commerce world in the UAE. How interesting is this story of Aziz Al Harbi for more on his profile? Do read the story in Gulf News. For now, this is Anjana Kumar for Gulf News.